Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. Today, we have Isaac with the D6. Should I play as Isaac with the D6? Is it be my first time playing with the D6 on this save file? I think we should. Let's begin. Isaac with the D6 is probably the greatest character in this game. D6, in case you're not familiar, allows you to re-roll the item in the item room. Now, what is re-roll exactly? Well, what happens is you look in there, it's an item you don't want. If it's a spacebar item, you pick it up, you put it down so it gets out of the rotation, which means it can't appear again in this run. Uh, unless you got every item in the game, and then it obviously re-loops. But if it's something you don't want, um, I do actually want Holocron Baby, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it here. But if I didn't, I would hit space and it would change to a different item. Randomly. Any item that's available in the pool of item items could be substituted for Holocron Baby. I actually want Holocron Baby. Holocron Baby shoots these relatively low damage, but not horrible split shot tiers here. Uh, it's a familiar, so it follows me around. It basically increases my damage over time as long as the shots hit. And if you're real close to enemies, you can hit with both shots. So, Holocron Baby is a pretty good pickup for the first floor. We can re-roll any pedestal. So I can re-roll uh, the library. I can re-roll the boss room. You can also re-roll items you haven't picked up that aren't on a pedestal, but they're considered pedestal items. So, shop items can be re-rolled. Devil, uh, devil room items can be re-rolled without buying them. Also, the pedestal and the angel room can be re-rolled. Now, the game decides what item it's it's a pool of based on the room it's in. So, if I re-roll a devil room uh, setup, there's two items in there, and if I re-roll them, you get two more devil room items, not two of any item in the game. They have to be from the same pool. It's a tro -la 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 um, I would have tried to lead them over here to get him to blow up this wall, but since this is a mini-boss room, you can't actually check for the secret room in a mini-boss room. Um, do I want to waste a bomb for a key? And then do I also do I want to use the key on the golden chest? Let's go right here. Try to leave real quick. Got out before the bomb blew up, so it should blow up with a slightly larger explosion radius. Of course, I did not expect that to be the secret room, but eh, no harm in checking. I actually expect the secret room to be right down here. Items that are in the secret room that appear on a pedestal, you can reroll as well for other secret room items. So if down here I had gotten the unicorn horn, I'd pick it up, put it back down so the unicorn horn is now out of the pool, and then I would reroll it and I have a chance for something like uh, raw liver, spider bite, other items that can appear in that room. Now that I've explained the mechanics of the D6 for you, hopefully you know its potential because there are lots of times in this game where you get junk items and you just have to abandon them. D6 basically gives you another shot at getting a good item. It takes six rooms to charge. No. It takes three rooms to charge. Right? Three rooms to charge? Pretty sure it's a three room charge. So you can often re-roll items multiple times. Which is nice. Now there's no chance for a deal with the devil in this uh, fight because this is the first floor. And deals with the devil cannot appear until the second uh, floor forward. So. Having taken no damage so far, not a big deal. Holocron Baby helped me out a little bit. Not as much as I would like, but you know what? That's also my fault for my crummy, um, my crummy shooting. I'm not going to re-roll the health up. Health up is a good pickup, especially this early, because on the next floor I'm hoping for a deal with the devil that I can exchange that heart for. Two keys and one bomb, five cents. Not a bad first floor by any measure. Also, Holocron Baby. Oh! <laughs> Shoot. Uh, that's a tough room to not take damage in because these guys start charging for you. They hit the fire two or three times, they blow up. These guys are close enough that they blow up. Yeah, that's, that's a tough room. That's a tough roll. But whatever. Oh, this is also a <laughs> difficult room to not take damage in. I'm just taking damage left and right. Dang it. Uh, not looking su super uh, professional here on my first D6. Or oh, he ate the bomb. I was going to try pushing him more towards the middle here. Not that I think that's a secret room. It could be. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's fight the boss right away because I don't want to waste any charges on my D6. So let's come in here. I'm going to use the strength card, which gives you a bit of a damage boost. Also an HP boost. And a shot speed boost. And a range boost. It's basically an all stats boost. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, that's close. I don't want to take a hit here because I have a potential chance for a double. Oh, don't want to take a hit here. I, I say as I immediately swerve towards a bullet, but luckily didn't take a hit. Unfortunately, no deal with the devil. Well, that's unfortunate indeed. And something to note here, even though this is a boss room, because I fought a horseman of the apocalypse. Uh, the only item in the Horseman of the Apocalypse rotation is the key with me. I'm gonna open this. And I don't, I don't regret a thing. That whole exchange gave me plus one bombs. Plus one bomb, I guess I should say there. Bomb to open the Tinterock, key, and then one key, and two bombs from the chest. Now having that gold chest be such a success makes me feel pretty comfortable opening this one. For a penny. And a key. So, one penny gained. Um... Not the best. I mean, these chests aren't giving me the payout I'm hoping for, but they're not costing me anything, and they're giving me a slight, slight benefit. So, no complaints there. Let's take out the champion nub. Oh. Come on. There we go. Could have just picked up that bomb when I was over there. Could have just picked up that key when I was over there. Let's open the item room. Take a look. What do we got? The bean. The bean is a spacebar item. I don't want it because I'd rather have a passive item. Normally, I would be stuck with it. I'd say, well, oh, whatever, you know, nothing I can do. However, touch the bean here, we short off, right there. All of that was bad gas. And then I'm gonna swap it for Dead Sea Scrolls, another spacebar item that I don't want. I'm gonna use it. Got a Tammy's head out of it. I'm gonna pick back up my D6 and I'm gonna hope that there are three rooms that I haven't killed all the enemies in. Here's one. Uh, to get my D6 charged back up, so that I can try and reroll that item again. D6, as you can see, doesn't guarantee you success, because you can just keep getting spacebar item after spacebar item, or junk after junk. You know, maybe I could have picked up, oh, I don't know, the holy water, black bean's not that great. Uh, you know, other passives that aren't super great, uh, the broken mirror. My reflection, I believe it's called. Um, anyway, so it doesn't guarantee you good items, but it does give you another chance. And unfortunately, it looks like it's only going to give me the one chance on that item room. Because this is the last room with enemies that I can see on the map. And it's too early for greed to be in the secret room. So unfortunately, it looks like we are not getting a second reroll on that. That's too bad. We are, however, going to go to the shop. Do I want to go to the arcade and pick up a couple more keys, too? I think I do. I think I do. Let's play these guys a little bit. Got some bombs. Not what I wanted, but you know what? You've just kind of sealed your fate there, buddy, because if you don't get out with the poop helmet by the time I get a bunch of keys, uh, you're going to be bombed by your own explosive device. There's one. I just want one more. There's one more. Fly love. You could, you could give me that and you could get out of here with your soul. You did not give me fly love. I'm afraid to say your chances of being bombed have just gone, gone up. Look, there's the black fly. Uh, the black fly, as you know, will reset the room if I don't kill it and I leave. I just kill it with the cube of meat, so <laughs> never mind. I'm gonna reset the room and see if I could get a tarot card machine up here. And let's get this. Oh, it's a live bomb. You're lucky you tossed that thing far enough away from you. Let's check the pill. Pills health down. Oh man, that's a. That's a very unfortunate pill indeed. A very unfortunate pill indeed. If I could get one more spirit heart, I'd be willing to drop all of my... Oh, I played I played too much! Okay, good. Because I played too much, I wanted to say 15 cents so I could, um, could check the shop. And lo and behold, I played too much. I got back up to 15 cents though, so no big deal. And you know what, I could have gotten back up to 15 cents at any point just by dumping some hearts into that blood bank. Um, the 9-volt will let us re-roll the item room again, because when I pick it up, it's going to fully charge my item. So I get a additional re-roll. That was a good pickup, and it was on sale. 9-volt also makes it so instead of being a 3-room charge, the D6 is now a 2-room charge. So that's a great pickup to get with the D6, especially when you can find the item room early. Is that... Triple shot? Is that, that? I think that's inner eye. It is triple shot. Nice. That's a good pickup. That's a really good pickup. 
uh, gives us three tiers. The tiers kind of stay pretty close together. Notice my tiers actually slow down going over this uh, spider web. It's the other one that's not going over the spider web. Doesn't go as far. That, that's interesting. Anyway, uh, getting distracted here. Gonna play these guys both one more time, and then I'm gonna just pump the blood bank for one and a half hearts here. Ooh, that's nice. One and a half hearts. Activate the skull guy. Blow up the blood bank. Oh, I probably shouldn't have blown that one up first. I should have blown that one up last. Oh, well, that's fine. Blow up the slot machine. And you know what, three-headed gambling man? I'll play you one more time. If you give me these keys, I'll let you live. Sorry, buddy. Push. Boom. And we've got the burn penny, which will give us increased bomb drops. By way of, every time I pick up a cent, 50% chance that a bomb will spawn next to the penny. So that's nice. That's not a bad pickup at all. Especially when you have no trinket. Um, I'm going to go in here and buy the heart. I was thinking like, well, you know, I'm playing a little risky. I'm sure I'll get some health pickups. It's only three cents. I might as well. And now let's leave. Three keys, four bombs, 13 cents. I'm feeling pretty good. That triple shot pickup is nice. I don't know if we've had triple shot yet. I don't know if that's a new item on the save file. Either way, uh, it's pretty much a straight damage up, so I have no complaints. Although, speaking of things to complain about, I now have one. Curse of Darkness is quite the jerk. I won't be able to see my map. I won't be able to accurately guess where rooms are. Find my way back. Golden keys are a very nice pickup. All locks are now unlocked on this whole floor. Come on, bomb drop. Nope, come on, bomb drop. Mm, nope. That's unfortunate. 50% chance that I missed it three times. Health up. I will pick this up and fight the mob trap room. That makes up for the health down pill I was unfortunate enough to swallow on the last floor. Knowing that health down pill is in the rotation also lets me know that if I get my health pretty low, down to one or zero red heart containers, I can take that and it will be health up. So some deals with the devil could uh, bring me down to one or no red heart containers, and that pill would become a health up pill. I don't believe we've unlocked the Polaroid yet, so not expecting to be sitting on zero red heart containers. No real benefit to that. That took quite a while. Um, I really need... I've got the, the... Oh, ouch! Jesus Christ, man, I can't believe that. Twice. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. There we go. This mob trap room could have gone a lot better. Playing like a fool. Taking hits. No big deal. Whatever. Move on. D6 is fully charged, but I have nothing to use it on. Golden Key unlocks all of the uh, locked rooms and chests on this floor for free. So I don't have any uh, any loss of keys on this floor because that Golden Key will just open it all up for me. Which means I'll be taking at least four keys with me down to the next floor, which is nice. Golden Poop in the middle gave me some money, money, money. And I see it looks like there's two coins. Is that a dime? Or no, is that a nickel on top of a pen? A penny on top of a nickel over there? Wow. English. I speak it, I swear. Oh. So, lots of money. That should bring me up to 31 cents if I'm seeing that right. 32 cents now. No, that was just that was just a, two pennies on top of each other. I thought that looked like a that looked like a nickel, but no. Another golden poop. What are the odds? To be honest with you, I think it's pretty darn low. I think it's like a 1%. Oh! Now! Now we're getting the payout from that. Ouch. Now we're getting the payout from the burnt penny. Let's take this guy out. Let's be more careful this time. Yeah, see, there's no reason I should be taking hits from these guys. Absolutely no reason. I am playing pretty poorly, to be honest with you. But this is my first run of the day, and it's been about three days now since I've recorded a, a run. And what I should be doing is recording more than one run at a time, <laughs> to be honest with you. That would make a lot of sense. But I'm not, because uh, these runs take like an hour apiece, and I've been pretty busy. And during my last couple days of freedom before I start my new full-time job. So. Oh. There we go. And there we go. 
Oh shoot, I did not uh, want to open up that fly from the poop. Or release that fly from the poop. I am... I'm like on noob mode here. I feel like, uh, like Northern Lion pre-first hundred episodes. Oh! Get it? Because I'm, I'm playing very poorly. And, and in the beginning he played pretty poorly too. It's, it's, a, it's a referential joke. If you, if you watch Northern Lion, you get it. But only if you've watched him for like more than 400 episodes because he's on like episode 580 or something now. Pick up the remote detonator. Gives me five bombs for picking it up. Put it down. Reroll it. The quarter. I would love to pick up the quarter. I don't need the quarter. I really don't need the quarter. If I want to fight another horseman of the apocalypse, I can pick up the book of revelations and use it. And I've got one cubic meat already, so I might as well. That should change the boss on this floor from whatever it was going to be to pestilence. Pick up the heart because I suck at dodging and not ramming my face into enemies. I don't really need the key, and I definitely don't need the bomb. Let's try and get another... Nope, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I think I've explored everything. Okay, so let's try and get another re another reroll saved up before I go fight the boss. Not going to happen, so I won't be able to use my D6 in the Devil Room. Which is unfortunate. If I had found that treasure room earlier, I would have more rooms to explore. And we have hit the worst of all uh, random number generator chances here. We're not fighting Pestilence, we're fighting the Pony. Pony will drop the Pony. <laughs> the Headless Horseman will drop the Pony. And uh, that I can't reroll. That's like a 10% chance when you're going to fight a Horseman Apocalypse that it swaps in the Pony. So statistically, we won the lotto. Unfortunately, the reward is not getting the cube of meat, and instead getting the pony. Which is not desirable in this situation. In some situations it is. Not in this one. And, what the heck, I took no damage. No red heart damage, and no damage. And I did not get a deal with the devil. Again. Like an 80% chance to get that deal with the devil. And I did not get it. And I don't even... Well, I'm going to pick up the quarter, because I can't re-roll it. And so there's no point in leaving it behind. Oh, let's just go get it. I'm bummed. My play has been less than less than average. We're back up to full health. Luckily, my crummy play has not cost me uh, much in the way of health at this point. But, you know. I got I got no excuse. I've got no excuse. 40 cents. That, I mean, that's fine. You know what? It's not a bad pickup. There'll be likely be a uh, an arcade on the next floor. Arcades can spawn on floor number two, so catacombs or caves two, depths or necropolis two, um, cellar or basement two. And I have more than five cents, which should um, set off the spawn for an arcade if there's a valid location for it. This will probably be greed. It's not greed. But it's the ladder, and the ladder's junk. But it just got five cents cheaper, so let's pick it up. It didn't really get five cents cheaper, I just got five cents, and so might as well. Right? This will be the last floor. Actually, it might be useful on the depths in Necropolis. There's the potential it could be useful. I don't want to reroll the shop. I could have. I probably should have. I'm just not used to having the D6, I wasn't thinking about that until just now. Here's what I want. And thanks to the ladder, I can get out of here and not take, not take damage. Although, to be honest, I could have ran around and probably gotten some faster hits on that guy. Another nickel. This is just like Money Central here. We have a speed and range up, which I believe is actually only a speed up. Which I don't want. We rolled it into my best friend. I'm going to place my best friend right here. Hey, buddy, don't be scared. You can see my orbiter. Um, me actually goes to the my best friend because of that weird glitch where it becomes you and it I don't know like it's just it's just weird it's a, it's a broken item but I put it back down I'm gonna take our d6 we're gonna charge it up again we're gonna take a hit from the turret here in the worst possible way kill these that flying thing take out this flying thing these guys stupid flying things I hate those guys um, got a couple hits there Open up the turret, take him out. Oh, take another hit. Oh my goodness. 
I'm telling you, I just I don't know. My reactions are just slow and broken. And it shouldn't be that hard to dodge. I think I'm out. Get the key using my ladder. Spear heart that I lost in that room. So not a huge, huge loss overall. Take that guy out. Come over here. Push these guys around a bit. Two, ah, oh, two champion ones. Get hit by those, they were full heart of damage. So we're trying to avoid those. Unfortunately, we should be trying to avoid everything. Uh, but Brain just put, putting my dude right in the line of fire. Brain, you're letting me down. What's the matter with you? You need some, some hydration or something? You just kind of... You're not in it. I'm still doing okay for health. We could be doing a lot better if I wasn't constantly losing these spear hearts. The D6 is charged back up. Let's not waste any more rooms. Let's get up here. Reroll, best friend. What are we looking for? Um, at this point, like, Mom's knife would be great. Spider Butt. Slows down enemies in a room and does Necronomicon damage, as well as makes the podium kind of look like uh, like someone had a bit of a erotic accident on it. I'll leave it at that. So, don't want it. Not a great item. Not going to help me out. Not as good as the D6. This run, if I didn't have the D6, I'd be rocking, like, complete junk. I'd have... Uh, probably the bean still. I probably would have picked that item up, actually. If I was rocking the bean, I would have gone with spider bite. It's a little bit better, I think, than the bean. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. One more room, and then we can go re-roll spider butt. It's better in the butt butt. There we go. One more. Oh, excellent. Pick up this key. You can never have enough keys. Unless you have, like, 99. Then you probably do have enough. Don't like the spike room here. Uh, I anticipate that at some point going back and forth along that path, I'll end up running into one. <laughs> I'm already anticipating my own failure. And that's not very uh, that's not very reassuring. Spider butt is re-rolled into the feather. Crack the sky. This makes white beams of light that damage enemies that are standing in them. Come down from the heavens. It can do a ton of damage if if it manages to hit an enemy, but there's no way to control where those beams of light appear. And as such, that makes that a mostly useless item. <laughs> mostly useless, unless you're carrying nothing else. Okay, let's clear out this room, and then I think we'll go to that mob trap room, provided I don't lose a whole entire heart of health here. Because if I do, or if I lose one and a half, I guess it would be, the room will remain locked. Because you can only go into that room when you have full health. Yeah, uh, just slowly. <laughs> Can't be any, any slower than this. Slowly eat these guys away. My damage is just... I've got the triple shot, but my damage is just not there. It's not where it needs to be. This bomb that appeared from that key, thanks to the burnt penny. Yeah, let's clear this room. The golden key is nice to pick up. Too bad I've probably opened up most of the stuff that requires a key. Uh, but some golden chests would be nice. Maybe a couple of them will just drop, and I can access them for free. If there's a library on this floor, that would be great, too. Uh oh, the chaser's here. The um, red eyeless ooze guys and the eye full ooze guys. Don't like these guys much. Um, but to be honest, my damage is at a point where I can, as long as a couple of shots hit them, a couple of my tears land, I can take them down pretty effectively. Let's just coast around the outside here. Around the outside. Around the outside. Let's just coast around the outside. Oh! This guy will blow up into a sea of fiery flames. Or a hail of bullets, one or the other. We've got another reroll. That 9 volt is really helping us out because it's giving us only two rooms to charge instead of three. Which is giving us what, like 50% more rerolls? Something like that. It's a damage up, I'm gonna take it. Chemical peel. I think with triple shot, it's still a damage up. I, I, I thought I'd have my tears turn red from that. Now I'm a little worried that, uh, now, it, it, it's probably a damage up. Probably still counts. Let's go down into the right here. I'm expecting one more room. This to be a, a terminus. It is not the terminus. It's actually the boss room. Um, but I'm not going to fight the boss yet. Because... No, I am. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. I'm going to fight the boss. If I kill the boss, my D6 will be charged. If there's a deal with the devil, I'll be able to take it. Oh! That was close. The chubster almost got me there. 
triple shot should make this guy pretty pretty easy to kill. As long as I can keep hitting him with the majority of the shots. He's got a wide body. And I mean no offense, Chubb, I mean no offense. I'm just describing your type. So my tiers should be able to hit him pretty consistently. All my tiers should be able to, to get in there. I could drop some bombs. I don't think it's necessary. Harlequin Baby helping me out here quite a bit. Oh, there we go. Let's take out these infants or these um, baby chubs or whatever they are, the silkworms. Tears up is okay. It'll be a rate of fire up. I'm going to take it. Could re-roll it, but rate of fire up is fine. Let's see what Satan's got for us. Guppy's paw for one heart would be great. It would give me quite a lot of, uh, of utility. It would turn each of my red heart containers into three spirit hearts. Because there's no chance of Polaroid invincibility on this run, I don't know if that's necessarily a good long-term strategy. The other item is Spirit of the Night. That's Flying and Spectral Tears. That's another good pickup, too. But I'm going to re-roll. Now, the heart value will stay the same, but the items will change. So, two red hearts for the sign. Not the sign, the pact. Damage up, plus two spirit hearts, plus uh, shot speed up. Going to take it. The nail might be a, it's only one heart. I can use it right away to get spirit heart, but I would have to give up my D6. I don't want to give up my D6. I should give up my D6 for it. I really should. I'm not going to, but I should. And the door closed behind me, so I can't go back. Which is unfortunate, because I would have loved to go back and re-roll the nail into something else. There's one full red heart container there. There's a chance that this blood bank could drop uh, an HP up. Now that I'm down to two hearts, I should probably check. Also, these pennies lead to bombs, which is nice. I'm going to go and clear the floor. There's a chance that there is a cursed room over there. The cursed room could teleport me back to a deal with the devil. With a full charge on my D6, that would be nice. Um, it could also give us a devil room item. Could give us a guppy item. Some spirit hearts. Most likely it would give us troll bombs and spiders. But I like to think positive when it comes to that, that whore Babylon cursed room. And you know what? Free money. Glad I came. Free secret room entrance. Glad I came. Lots of money. Lots of bombs. Once again, glad I came. Interesting note, uh, that's also what I usually say immediately after uh, intercourse. Glad I came. Ow. Gee, it was a bad joke, but you don't have to bomb me for it. Oh, man, Super Wrath. Kind of a dick. Kind of a dick. Oh. My rate of fire is nice and high. My damage is, is up there. It's not great, but it's getting better. Every day. I'm getting better every day. Oh. Two spirit hearts gone from this fight. Super wrath. Man. Oh no. All of my spirit hearts gone. <laughs> I am regretting. <laughs> and all I got was a key and a scent. Oh. Wow. Not so glad I came. <laughs> Not so glad. Last room. Just don't, just don't blow yourself up with the TNT, man. Just, just don't do that. There you go. Two bombs. Secret room has been found. Their treasure item has been picked up. It was chemical peel, in case you can't remember. Um, I think we're done with this floor. I don't think there's anything else left for us here. Now that I have all this money, let me check to make sure all my banding in the shop is a red heart. I could go play the blood bank twice. Come back for that red heart. Red heart's three cents. I'm likely to get more than three cents from the blood bank, so I'm likely to net a profit here. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> One. And we got the IV bag. Dang it. IV bag, not what I wanted. Obviously, I wanted the blood bag. Blood bag would have hooked me up with an HP up, a heal, and a speed up. I could use the speed. I could definitely use the HP. You know, that secret room is not in the spot I would have thought. I would have probably first looked between the shop and the treasure room. Second, I would have looked up here. That would have been the third place I would look. Although with 38 bombs, I could have definitely afforded to look everywhere. I'm going to re-roll this. It's a range up. I 
guess it's important. My range was kind of crummy. I was in the heart there. Uh, a little bummed. <laughs> Still looking for that big damage up. Or flying item that isn't a two heart buy. Yeah. I don't know about this. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. Just gotta keep telling myself that. Two hearts. Luckily I got the ladder so these guys cannot get to me. For some reason they just they don't they can't understand the concept of walking up the ladder. Isaac, however, has a I don't know what you call it, I don't want to say grade school education. Has a preschool level education, knows how to walk on the ladder. Those goo guys, they've they've never seen the ladder. They don't they don't understand what's going on. There we go. Find the treasure room nice and early, which will mean lots of potential rerolls. Money equals power. That's like a usually a devil room item. So that's a good item. Not gonna re-roll it. It'll give us a 0.04 damage boost per cent that I carry. So this is good. It's a pretty big damage up. As long as I don't spend this money. This is a this is darn good damage up. In fact, one of the better damage ups you can get. So, that's good. That's good. There's some more damage right there. Excellent. I just gotta be careful. I have a great suite of items. But unfortunately, uh, I have very little health. And no spear hearts. And my play has been sucking. Sucking massive dongers. Just raise those dongers. So, I'm not gonna go into that room until I get a red heart on the ground. Let's pick up the scents. I do see that tinted rock. Um, I'm hoping for a red heart from this. Nope. That's unfortunate. Um, let's blow this up. Maybe it's a golden chest. <laughs> it is a golden chest. And there's my red heart. Excellent. I would have loved spirit hearts too, but the red heart allows me to go into the curse room up here, get out, and then get back to full health. Spirit heart, if I had picked it up, uh, I would have I would have been wasting it going into this room, which I would have left it on the ground until I found a red heart, done this, and then picked up the spirit heart. Two chests. I'm hoping for a teleport to a deal with the devil. Nope, it's just a troll bomb, and I'm not fast enough to run away from consistently. And there's another one. Great. If those had hit me, I would have been S O friggin L. Luckily, they did not. They would have done a full heart of damage. I would have lost half a heart leaving, and I would have died in that room. So count your blessings, because <laughs> this run has massive power, massive potential. And if I was the best Isaac player in all the land, uh, it'd be GG. Unfortunately, I am not. Especially not today. Let's take this guy out. Sent key inside here will be greed. Is indeed fighting for the money. My money equals power makes it worth coming here. If he drops a steam sail, I can roll it. He did not drop the steam sale, so I cannot roll it. But he did drop the coins, which give me the bombs. Looking to swap out my burnt penny for pretty much anything at this point. Range up. Rerolling it to poison bombs. Yeah, you know what? I have lots of bombs. Now they're all poisonous. They'll be great for some bosses. Great for some tough rooms. A lot better than the range up, that's for sure. How often are you shooting all the way across the road? Answer? Not that often. Just playing it kinda safe, or as I like to call it, coward mode. Oh, <laughs> shot down instead of over. One heart here, which makes me a little bit more confident, including this room. I said I was looking to replace my, uh, my burnt penny. So, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say no to the lucky toe. Lucky toe should give us drops after rooms. Increased chance for drops after rooms, I should say. Take out the spider first. I gotta get the jump, like, uh, twice, sometimes three times as far as these guys. More knights. Let's place a bomb. Boom! Took out the real Good bomb. Did I need to place the bomb? No. When you have 50 bombs, what's, you know, what's stopping you? What is stopping you? Cleared out most of this floor. Have not found spear hearts, which are what I need desperately from this floor. Gonna chance it for the extra damage. 77 coins. At this point, I can spend some of these coins and I don't, I don't feel too bad. 
I shouldn't have picked that up until after I cleared the room, because if I left the coin in the center, that key would have fallen to the side. It would have made it less risky to pick up. Almost walked right on top of that, uh, that spike. Let's go in here. Let's pick up Anarchist Cookbook. Pick up Book of Shadows. I've touched them both. I could re-roll them both, but I'm going to save my re-roll for the boss or deal with the devil. I can't use it on the boss because the boss is uh, Gish here. Gish will always drop a little Gish. Every time. Little Gish is a good pickup. It's a follower. Its shots will slow down the enemy. Doesn't do a lot of damage. It's one of the lower damage familiars. Oh, that was close. Um, but you know what? The, the slowing effect definitely makes it an excellent pickup. The amount of damage we're doing is pretty good. Thanks to money equals power mostly. Pact helps a little. Chemical peel may or may not be helping, I'm honestly not sure. But that money equals power. It's great. Little Gish has appeared in the basement. No deal with the devil. Not gonna re-roll little Gish because I can't. Uh, as you can see, little Gish. Tar tears. Slows down the enemy. Let's re-roll. Telepathy for dummies. Book of Bile. Book of Blile is pretty good, but I'm not gonna take it with me. You don't have to actually use the items, you just have to touch the items. Uh, with 50 bombs, I should probably consider looking for the secret room. I don't know, I'm just putting that out there, it might be a good idea. Not there? In that case, it'll be right here, right? Indeed. Three cents. Unfortunate. Really hoping for raw liver. That was the item of choice. Raw liver was what I had my hopes on. Not there. It's a pretty rare item. So, I'm not surprised. Mm, 80 cents. Our damage equal po equals power is doing fantastic work for us. Nothing left on the floor for me, so let's head on down. Unfortunately, we got Necropolis. Not a good... Not a good roll there. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, little Gish. Unfortunately... My own ignorance stopped you from basically saving me from taking any damage there. Uh, let's see. Half a red heart down. There is that white heart. I want to save it. Pick up this half a heart. That's, um... That's this. This. There you go. Holy water. Absolute garbage. Wouldn't take it. Uh, even if I didn't have the D6, I just would have left it here. Bomb bag. Not exactly garbage, but I think it's an item I don't have yet. It follows you around every four rooms, drops a bomb pickup. I don't need bombs. I have bombs. I have more bombs than I know what to do with. So I don't want it. Even though I think it would be an item I have not picked up yet on this save file. I still don't want it. It's not a rare item. It shows up all the time, so... I'll pick it up on another character. Uh, I will take the Liberty Cap over the Lucky Toe. And I will definitely pick up the compass. And the spirit heart. And over here we have a tinted rock. Which I would love to access. For the small rock, damage up, speed down. Definitely going to take that. Never say no to a damage up. And that tinted rock is nice too. So our damage is, is looking good. Our damage is looking great. The, um, the liberty cap gives you a random mushroom effect every time you enter a different room. It picks a mushroom effect from a pool of potential mushroom effects, and it gives you that effect. Do I want to pick up the white heart? I'm going to have to come back for it, which is kind of a pain. No, you know what? I can't come back for it because uh, I'll be fighting mom on this floor. So let's just pick it up. If I lose it, I lose it. It's not the end of the world. If I get another white uh, heart, it'll combine and become the heart container right away, which would be fantastic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, <laughs> this is a room that's very difficult to not take damage on, but luckily my my attack damage, my, my own damage is... Oh, shoot. Still took a hit. Wasn't paying enough attention. I was going to say, luckily my damage is so high that I can probably get through here without taking a hit. Bite your tongue before you start to say that sort of thing. Because the game will slap you back and go, hey, I heard you thinking you could get through here. Not on my watch. Oh, you know what? I did not go up to re-roll that on. Uh, shoot, I did not go up to re-roll that item. I've been sitting with my charge for a while here and I've been cleaning rooms. I did not go up to re-roll. That is ineffective, inefficient use of D6. That's not what you want to see. 
not what you want to see. Those kind of mistakes. Don't want to see them. Uh, hang on just a second. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, hmm. Anyway, clear that room. That, that was only like a two or three second delay there. Uh, I probably did a little jump cut, but to be honest with you, I doubt it was required because that happened pretty quick. Came in here, got a spirit heart, lost a spirit heart going in and out. Net gain of nothing. I would have loved to teleport to the deal of the devil. Unfortunately, it was not in the cards. Not be careful here. Be careful here. And I think I'd be careful here too. This is this is the pain on the necropolis floors when it comes time to do all these rerolls. Is you're just constantly at danger, at risk, I should say, of getting hit by those things. Book of Sin gives me a random drop. The drop is a red heart. Would have loved a blue heart. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to come back and do it all again, sliding past those blue spikes once more. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna do another reroll. And I know it can't be down from here because I was just in that cursed room and there was no second door. So that uh, that can't be the location. Oh shoot! Greed heads and the hanged man in the middle. Ugh, oh, bummer. The worst when you have money equals power. Getting hit by those guys, losing losing your coins. Not to mention that they're just difficult to dodge in the first place. One half of a blue heart remaining. I think that white heart is uh is at risk. Pretty high risk of losing that. Pretty high chance that that heart is no longer going to be uh, counted on. <laughs> because I'm probably going to lose this blue heart coming right through the spike room up here. Wish I had a little bit more speed. I know I picked up that speed down. Damage up in the form of the small rock. Knowing full well that I was going to regret losing some speed. The damage is definitely worth it. Every time. Still bummed though. Lard. <laughs> what was I saying about needing speed? Let me just take a massive speed down here. But I did say I needed those red hearts. And we're back up to four red heart containers. Lard gives you two heart containers. It also makes some of these spike rooms literally impossible to get out of. Based on the location of the spike, you have to really... I shouldn't say literally impossible, because there's always a way. Sometimes it's just real, real hard to find that way. Let's go down first. Triple shot helping me out a great deal here. Spreading my shots just far enough out so I can hit all the enemies in there. And down here. Uh oh. Oh man, I thought for sure I was going to take damage there. There we go. Now that I'm here, I should be okay. If I could just get these hearts to come up here. Hearts! Come here! Holocron baby hitting them. Let's just go down here. Let's just take the risk. Should be okay. Slow down the masks with a little gish, so that helps a lot. Uh, I don't want to play the blood machine because the blood machine will um, take my, my spirit heart. I want to keep the sun card for using it on the wound. The sun card will give me Necronomicon effect, a full health heal, and map and compass effect for a floor. Unless it's a curse of darkness floor. Come on. Let's also play this guy a little bit while I'm trying to get a second tarot card here. What I'm looking for is a teleport tarot card. So that I can leave the mom boss fight after I complete it and look to see if I landed a deal with the devil. Also, those spirit hearts, definitely not going to say no to those. Two of them, nice. The poop helmet. I could re-roll it, but you know what? I'm going to take it because... Oh, sorry, I touched the mic there. The poop helmet will keep the flies from assaulting me. Another... Spear heart. This is this is paying out well. I, sh I can't believe it. Three spear hearts is great. I just need a tarot card, or a better trinket would be nice too. But tarot card is what I'm hoping for. Wow. Uh, crystal ball. We'll use a. Uh, it'll use a map and compass effect for the floor. Give me a drop that the machine would only give me. And let's re-roll it into the skinny odd mushroom, which is a speed up. Or the mini mush, not the skinny mush. The mini mush. Sorry. It is a speed up. I was right about that. Um, it's also supposed to be a range up. I'm not sure if it's a range up. I, I think it is. I know that some of the items that say speed and range are just one or the other. I'm gonna go up here. 
immediately regret that decision. I was just thinking if I planted a bomb real quick, I could probably get out of this room. But I think I'll be okay. Let's go this way. Lead them. Corral the masks. Corral the hearts. And... Finish the room with no damage. That's good. That's good. We should have a charge ready now for the mob boss fight. On our D6, in case we get junk from mob. Oh, let me just go ahead and take some more damage. I'm going to take a whole heart of damage, because, you know, why not? Why not? That fly. He's my bro. He just wants to be friends. Oh, sorry, buddy. Kill me. Don't want to be your friend. Taking the safety cap, it'll increase our pill drops. And look at that, we got a pill. Uh, it's an unknown pill. Balls of steel. We were not able to get a teleport, so we cannot access a deal with the devil unless mom drops the crate and the crate comes with the teleport. When it comes, I'm gonna play it safe and use my scumbag technique. Scumbag level 9, right here. Not max scumbaggery, but we got close. Shoot. I moved too far from the door and so the foot was on the spot. Not a huge deal, to be honest with you. Oh, shoot. Now I feel really dumb. Let's just finish her off here. There we go. The coin purse, I could re-roll. Uh, sorry if you can hear that, I'm actually leaning back in my chair, because I lean forward over my keyboard a little bit. Pretty bad posture. I'm gonna take the... the pills. I'm gonna take the pills and hope that one of these is a telepills. Well, did I call it? I think I did. Cool. Now let's um get back in that room and see if I activated a deal with the devil. I'm going to say there's a pretty low chance that it happened. I'm going to give it a 25% chance that the deal with the devil door will now be there. And it's not there. That's unfortunate. One of these is a health down, I think. Not that one. That one's a speed up. That's a health down. This one will be a health up. No, it's a luck up. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not complaining. I'm gonna leave the health down. Take the sun with me. And let's mosey on to the womb. Kept that somehow. Kept that eternal heart alive. So I got a heart container from that. Let's go up first. My damage is pretty good, but I would love to pick back up some more money. You can see I've lost quite a bit. What was this one? Health down. I just saw that pill in <laughs> the mom boss fight and immediately forgot what, what it was. That's, uh, that's my scumbag brain for you. Let's come in here. Let's walk that guy into spikes. Check out this room. Please be something good. It's not. I don't think it's worth it. Because I have the compass and it looks like there's pretty much only one path that I'm thinking is going to be the right path, I'm not going to waste my sun card. Not yet. Let's see, can I get that guy up there? I cannot. I've got all the bombs in the world. So let's kill him. And there was a tinted rock in there. Safety Cap made that tinted rock drop a balls of steel pill. Thank you so much. Judgment. Hells yeah. I'm going to sacrifice some damage. But I'm okay with that. I got the D6. He can give me something, I can start rerolling it. Give me the map. I'm not going to reroll that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the treasure map. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take Treasure Map. It's great with my compass. It'll help me speed up my process a bit here. Oh, should have placed that one down here, you nub. What are you doing? There we go. It's not like I don't have the bombs. To put, you know, it's fine wasting a couple. I'm just going to blow this up. Half a red heart, don't need it. The bomb back that I used to blow it up, so nothing gained there. Monstro 1, shouldn't be a problem. My damage is still stellar, thanks to one equals power. Do I want to go into that cursed room? That's the question. It cost me two spear hearts. The answer is yes, yes I do. Pills. Health death. Yeah, see I knew that one, I remembered it this time. Speed up I am going to take. I've gotten quite a few speed downs, so my speed coming up is no, is no harm. I'm not going to be going too fast, although I will admit, I am going close to too fast. This is about where I draw a line. Watch me take another 3 speed up build. 
this is about this thing. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. This is about this is about this thing I want to be. Maybe a, maybe no. I'm doing it. I'm talking myself into it. I was gonna say maybe one more. Not maybe one more. This is the speed you want to be. You just said it. This is the speed you want to be. My damage is good enough that I can take these guys out without any trouble. My damage is where I want it to be. Mind you, I wouldn't I wouldn't complain if it was a lot higher. But this is good damage. Skull X here. Don't stand a chance. Oh. <laughs> I slowed down his face. Ah, I took a hit from Skull X. I told you, I'm not playing well today. I'm not playing well today at all. Let's stop. Uh, oh. Let's stop hitting his face with the dish slowing shot. So I can actually get some hits in on his tail here. I'm hoping for a deal with the devil. I haven't taken any red heart damage, so I'm suspecting it's possible. And sure enough, there it is. I'm going to take the health up. I'm going to go in here. If it's Krampus, that's fine. It's not Krampus, which is even better. Two deals. I have not picked up any Guppy items, and so I can't become Guppy from just these two. Right? What else is there? There's the dead cat, which I haven't picked up. There's Guppy's paw, which I passed on too. So yeah, let's re-roll them. We have a one heart mark. Definitely. Damage up, speed up. I just said I didn't want any more speed. But whatever. Not a big deal. Two hearts for the forget-me-now would let me fight the room again. I would lose the d6. Not worth it. If the room stays, did not stay. See, if the room stays, then I'll go back and charge up my d6 some more. That being uh, the case that it's now gone, I'm not gonna deal with that floor any longer. There's a library. I want to go to the library. This room actually looks pretty small for a utero room. Um, do I want to play in the arcade? I have the bombs. So to answer my own question, no, I don't want to play in the arcade. But I sure don't mind blowing everything up. Is that a speed up? It is. Do I want to speed up? Oh, did not replace that. Use the pill. Because, yeah, I want to speed up. Are you kidding me? Now we're going to say no to a speed up. Having already said my speed was fine. And then picking up the mark, which gives me more speed. Uh, well, yeah, why not? Why not take another speed up? Dash across this floor like this. Why not? I like being fast. Like a quickie. Get in, get out, and then go back in, back out about, I don't know, 50 or 60 more times. Then you're done. Yeah. Oh. No problems here. These guts are not going to be an issue. I'm fast enough now that I can outrun pretty much everything. This will turn all chests, including gold chests, and silver chests into red chests. Red chests can contain spirit hearts, uh, or guppy items, do with the devil items. Yeah, why not? Why not? Left before that bomb landed. I'm not sure if I went back in there if that bomb would still be flashing in the air waiting to explode, or if, uh, if that bomb would just be removed. I think it'll still be sitting there. I'm gonna check. Uh, that troll bomb is. I was actually thinking about the bomb that the guy shot, the Ipecac bomb. Let's not go into the curse room yet. Because if it teleports me to a deal with the devil, then I'm going to miss my chance to fight. It lives. And I won't be able to go to the cathedral. And I believe this will be our first cathedral run. I didn't want to say it earlier in the run because I kind of wasn't sure if I was going to make it. To be honest with you, I thought there was a chance I was not going to survive. By the way, you'll notice those bomb flies have the green explosion from my... Uh, Bombs, but they don't actually cause any damage in the end because they blow up on. It's just a graphical change. We have double item rooms in our library now. I'm going to stick with the sun card. Put this down. Pick up the doctor's remote. Mm -hmm. Put it down. Go back with the dice. What do we got up here? Red chest. Sure. It's Guppy's paw. Well, gee, looter, you should have picked up those Guppy items. Now you could be Guppy. Now that's very true, uh, random stranger in the comments. But, I still don't really regret my decision. Being Guppy would have been great, but you can't know that ahead of time that you're going to run into the paw again. You just can't know. And, this gives me a pedestal to re-roll into a teleport.
right, now that I think about it, I should have rerolled the um, items in the library instead. Oh well, that's fine. I was hoping it would re-roll into another red chest item, which could have been the double item. But I forgot that since it's here in the mob trap room, it can only re-roll into a mob trap room item. My bad. Let me go all the way back. Dodge this. I'm right back over here. Oh. I don't know. I don't think so. Sorry, Demon Judgment. I don't think so. I've already got too many things to re-roll. I have three pedestals now. Two in one room, one in the other room. And so... Oh, tra -la 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 You were pain in my, in my left nut earlier when I was fighting Super Wrath. But now that I got speed to spare... You can't do nothing to me. You can't do nothing to me. Let's re-roll these. We've got the Yum Heart. Refills one red heart. Can, uh, spacebar item. Refills one red heart upon use. Lemon Mishap. Take a big old piss stain right on the middle of the floor. Don't want either of them. Let's go up here. Did I touch teleport? I'm thinking I did not. So let's touch it and put it back down. Let's go all the way back. All the way back to the, the spawn. And then up. Past that troll bomb. And into that one room we haven't explored up there. And then I'll never have to come back this way again. Have I been in the secret room? I don't think I've been in here. I have not. Three cents. That's a little bit extra damage with my equals power, so no complaints. No complaints. Troll bomb. You still can't touch me. Can't touch me. Could use a key to access that red chest. Probably would have been a golden chest if I did not have the left hand. Not worth, not worth using a key for. I only have five keys. Um, I'd rather not use one there. I don't know what I'm saving them for because I don't get to go to the chest on this one. But I just feel like, ah, it doesn't feel like it's worth it. That's how I feel. Oh, you know what? Got to clear one more room. This will be my last reroll, I think, on those items. Maybe I'll get one more. But we'll see. We shall see. Um, no, you know what? I probably will. I probably will because there's two more rooms plus the boss room. I only need two rooms to charge it. So even if one of those two rooms before the boss is not something I want, I should still be okay. Unicorn horn. Don't want it. Do I want to pick up Guppy's hairball? Have I picked up this item before? I don't know. It acts like a flail. It does damage to things it touches, and it gets bigger if it kills lots of stuff. Now I've got to decide if I want another item from the item room pool, which is not what the library is drawing from, or do I want an item from the mob trap room pool. Ouch. Oh. Oh. I got the speed to get away from these guys, but I just don't have the, the lanes cleared up. Which you smart for me, these masks, their, their AI is just, oh, it's just too, it's too good. They're turning on a dime across zero style. I can't get away. Okay. One left. There we go. Clear this room. Two of these guts. Yep. Square ahead and just stare that bullet down. That'll that'll scare it, right? That'll intimidate the bullet. The bullet will go around you. Or not. <laughs> yeah, let's go re-roll. Which one do I want to re-roll? Um... I guess I want to, well, it could be a syringe, a skeleton key, an HP up in the north. Let's take the south from here. Poly friggin' Themis. Look at that. Look at that. That's a damage up. Very nice. It's not the best it could be because I have triple shot, which changes it from a damage multiplier to a damage additive. That being said, three amazing shots. If I hit with two of the three shots, it's it's better than if, you know... Actually, every shot is not better it's before I picked it up, so no complaints there. Look at that. Look at that damage. Not the best damage in the world. I don't have quad shot. I have triple shot. I don't have a million damage ups. But here I have money equals power. So this is good. This is a very, very strong run for 
should be okay taking out this boss. We're not going to Satan today. I know, I'm gonna miss him too. We're not gonna see Satan for a while. At least that's how I'm feeling. We're probably not gonna be seeing Satan for a while. Because we're gonna be fighting our new boss in the last time. Mom's heart did not stand a chance. Five hearts plus one and a half blue hearts. No Polaroid invincibility. No Polaroid at all. Let's go up one. Excellent. And let's check out the secret room. Beat Greed. Greed's not a bad fight right now because he'll drop us some money, money, money. And he did not drop us any money, money, money. He dropped us a re-rollable pedestal, though. The one up. Should I take the one up? It'll give me an extra shot at Isaac, but I will only have five heart containers. Let me take a swig of water here. I think I do want this. I think five heart containers should be enough to beat Isaac. I'm hoping. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? I don't need to let these guys get close to... I'm like leading these guys into the tinted rock so I can save a bomb. I have 49 freaking bombs. I don't have to play super bomb conservative. Ouch. Shoot. We are in trouble. Well, we're not in trouble. Because we're going to have a full 5 heart attempt on Isaac. Via the one up. No matter what happens. This run has just... Uh, I don't want to say just been saved, but I think it's just been decided here. Guppy's paw for the third time. How come this item keeps coming back? Clearly I'm not touching it. That's why it keeps coming back. I mean, um, I have specifically been going out of my way to not touch it because I had planned on it reappearing again at a later date. Yeah, we'll go with that. No. The problem is I haven't been touching I'm making it up. And I haven't been doing that on purpose, but I guess uh, it's come back to pay off. Because now I'm going to use it. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, twelve, fifteen blue hearts. And a re-roll into ten bombs. Are you kidding? I don't think so. Fifty bombs, I don't need the extra ten. That's good. That's real lucky that uh, I didn't touch that all those times. I'm sure the commenters have probably already been like, You didn't pick up the paw, you idiot. <laughs> you should have touched the paw. Why didn't you touch the paw? Touch the paw. Touch the paw. Is that poison touch? That is. So every time I take a hit, I can run in, smack him around. Oh, I don't have Polaroid Invincibility, though, because I don't have the Polaroid unlocked. Still not a bad item. Enemies bump into me by accident. Uh, it'll do damage to him. Greed again. More money, more power. That's what that is. That's more money, more power. More money, more power. And there we go. Red Heart, which I can never use. D6, which I'm not going to need. Let's fight for the first time. Fight ourselves. This is Isaac. He's a tricky boss. Uh, every time you hit him, he'll spit up some tears, a stream of them, in, the direct, in your direction. Plus, he occasionally does a circle shot all around him. With orbiters, with a full set of orbiters, I should say, this is a much easier fight. And now he's in his second phase, he's going to shoot humming tears at us. Still not too not too difficult as long as you can stay away from the homing tears. Let him bounce into the wall. His range is pretty high. Third phase here, he's gonna call beams from the heaven. And he's gonna ask his angel feed his babies to help him out. He will occasionally shoot this star of homing shots at him. There we go. He's disappeared. Dropped us a red heart. Did we take there you go, D20 has appeared in the basement. Very nice. I think we would have been able to win this, even if we hadn't taken Guppy's paw, because he would drop the red heart. There's red heart outside. I probably would have made it here with five heart containers, and I think I took five, like four hits, less than five hits. So that's cool. Uh, pretty sure we would have won that. Awesome. I also had the sun card, which I never used, so I could have had a full heal. So I would have had effectively ten red hearts. That being said, it was still nice getting that security from the paw. Let's see our new ending, and allow me to. To hush up. There we 
to get out. Isaac appears to be reading the book and he sees the evil within him. And our title screen has changed. You can see we now have one piece of a puzzle or perhaps a picture. I just don't know. That's, I don't, that's ending number 12. We're doing well. We're doing well. Two more innings to go. But I think we have to beat Isaac another five times. One, two, three, four, five, five more times. So next time I think we're going to play as a different character. Or maybe we'll do a challenge run. We still have a couple of those to go. If you made it this far, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you could take a second and either write me a comment or let me know you liked it by giving me the old thumbs up if you liked it. If I made some mistakes or I made a, a gross oversight, please let me know as well. I want to keep improving. But that's all I have to say, so have a great day, friends, and take care. <laughs>